Hi everyone, we recently had the question regarding the how to use the user profile lookup function in the new responsive designer for Office 365. So in this video we're going to have a quick look at how to use the user profile lookup function in the new designer for Office 365. So if I jump across to uh, my admin area of um, Office 365, so this is where your user profiles are stored, this is all the properties that are stored against a user, so anyone that signs into Office 365, there's a whole bunch of properties that you can um, enable and populate and customize. You can have your own ones. And so if we've got last name here, if I just go to uh, edit the item, So what we see here is um, it's actually got the last name. So that's actually the, 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 the key that we want to get when we're building our, um, using our function. So it's display name is last space name. So when you're looking at your profile in Office 365, it'll say last space name. But what we really want is um, last and name together like that. So we can grab that key. Now, if we go back to Office 365 and we click on Nintex Forms, I'm going to build a new uh, form and just quickly build a function to show you how this works. So here's my form here, I've got a title control, and what I'll also do is put a label control in here as well. Now, the first thing we can do is create a uh, variable. So we can say um, set field value, and I would say user profile lookup, and I would say um, uh, I need to put a the context of a person. So this could be a user profile, uh, sorry, a people picker, so, um, or it could be the current user. So I'm going to use both. So I'm going to say current user email and I'll insert that in there. And then I need to put the property that we talked about before, which was across here, is last name. So quotation marks, put in last name, and then insert that in there. So we just, that gets returned as a string, so we can use that one there. So we're going to um, default my uh, first and last name, so I can grab this, and what I'll do is Press enter there, push the, put this here, put first name and plus space plus like that. And we can have functions on different lines and it really just um, figures out how to uh, prioritize that. So what this is going to do is set the field of the title control to my first and last name uh, based on my uh, current user, which is me. So I'll create that. And what we can do is go to rules, and so we can say uh, set field value. If the title control is empty, then the title control uh, value is set to the variable. So I'll go and insert the variable here that we created before. Um, and then we don't really need an else rule, so we'll go and create that. So uh, the next thing you could do is also do a label. So I'll click on the label here, uh, click on the field, click on insert. Now, rather than using this one, what I want to do is I could also use a people picker control. So let's go to the SharePoint controls, drag on a people picker, put it through here, and let's get rid of the one there. Now what we're going to do here is go insert and create a variable, uh, people picker, oh, let's say populate people picker. So again, we just do user profile lookup, or oh, I can type that again just to show you, user profile lookup. And what I want to do here is actually go people picker. And so I start typing and it knows that controls there. So I can just press enter. Now I could also get it from here as well if I wanted to insert it, but same sort of thing. So then we go first name and we can do copy that and paste that. And then we go plus uh, quotation marks for a space and there we go so now we've got this one as well I go create and insert and that's going to put that into my label for me now let's go ahead and publish and close this and see if this actually works correctly um, haven't tested this built it pretty much straight from from scratch so hopefully we don't have any issues okay clicking on new item will open up the Nintex form
Okay, so first you'll see that uh, it's populated my name, Ewan and Gamble. So that's grabbed from the user profile lookup because what it did was detected that the field was empty. It's going to run that function and then run that run the rule and got the function, got my first and last name. Now you'll notice the label is empty here. So if I go and type in my name, it's going to find my uh, my user profile, my properties. As you can see here, it's got all my details. I'll click on there and now it's gone and evaluated and it's put first name, first name because I've made an error in my function. So let's go and close that. Go to in-text forms. Okay, so what have I done wrong? Go to variables and I'll look at my people picker variable. And of course I copied and pasted and forgot to actually update to the last name. So uh, update that one there. Now other things we could also do is let's say the checkbox we could put in here. So rather than firing that on form load, we could actually check if the yes, no is yes. So I could come in here and say set field value. And I could say if the yes, no is yes, then it's going to actually do this function. And then we could say the title uh, value is empty if it's not true. So let's go and test that out. So designer. Publish and close. Okay, clicking on new item. So now we see that this hasn't populated and this one hasn't populated either. So I'm going to type in my name and it's going to look up my profile. Uh, clicking there. Ewan Gamble. So it's got the two properties, the properties we talked about before. So last name and first name would come from that database we talked about. Now, if I click on the yes, no, we see it actually then resolves my first name and last name as well. If I untick that, it's going to remove that field. So that's how the user profile um, function works. Hope you find that helpful. Uh, let me know. Uh, you can either reach, it, reach me on my email or Twitter or in the community. Cheers.